Welcome to this month's Nature's Calling. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Are you tired of this cold and yucky weather? If so, I bet you hope that little critter doesn't see a shadow this February and we move right into spring. But for now, let's learn a little bit more about the animal that has its own national holiday, the groundhog. Groundhogs can be found throughout the state. They are vegetarians and feast all summer long on greens, fruits, and vegetables to build up fat reserves. After the first frost, these little critters go underground into their burrows, into a deep coma. The first ever Groundhog Day in the United States was in 1887 in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. This tradition began with Germans when they began settling in Pennsylvania in the 1800s. However, they traded the hedgehog for a groundhog. Legend states if the groundhog comes out of its burrow on February 2nd and sees its shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter. If it doesn't see its shadow, then spring is near. In Missouri, it would be rare to see a groundhog in February since winter is only half over and they're still in hibernation. If you're looking for a sweet treat this winter, why not head out into the woods and tap into a tasty treat under the bark of sugar maple trees? From mid-January to the end of February, sap within sugar maple trees begins to flow, ready to be tapped for making sugar and syrup. Though you can tap a variety of trees, sugar maple sap has the highest sugar content at about 3%. This time of year is prime maple sugaring season because it produces the right weather conditions. So the reason we tap trees this time of year has to do with the life cycle of the tree and the weather. So when temperatures are above freezing during the day and below freezing at night, that's when the sap will flow. It takes 40 gallons of sugar maple sap to create one gallon of syrup. You can learn more about maple sugaring at local events around the state this month or on MDC's website. Once you're through maple sugaring, why not take some time and listen to the sounds of nature? Have you ever wondered what that drumming sound was you heard in the woods? That's a woodpecker. Thanks to a famous cartoon character, most people recognize a woodpecker when they see one. They are unusual birds that climb tree trunks and use their beaks like jackhammers. Woodpeckers drum mainly because of two reasons. They want to attract a mate to the area. They want to say, hey, here I am, I'm over here. Secondly, they want to either maintain or either establish a breeding territory to alert other intruders that this is my area, stay away. Woodpeckers are important members of the forest community. Not only do they consume lots of wood-boring insects, an abandoned woodpecker home is real estate for bluebirds, chickadees, owls, squirrels, and other wildlife. Seven species of woodpeckers are commonly found in the Midwest, and several will visit bird feeders supplied with suet or sunflower seed. You can learn more about groundhogs, maple sugaring, and woodpeckers at mdc.mo.gov. Thanks for watching and remember nature's calling. Get out and enjoy Missouri's outdoors.